Marvelous 103 FM with crew Fon at Thai Time. Good morning. สวัสดีค่ะ How are you? I'm fine. What you got in store for us today? ถูกกฎหมายถูกกฎ The cooker is, as we said, is a soft one, so yeah. you actually don't hear it. Mm-hmm. You have to know it's there, so right. you get there. ถูกถูกกฎหมายถูกกฎหมาย No idea. Last time we learned about กฎหมาย actually it's the law. The and, law. Yeah, and t o กฎหมาย now it's legal. You can do it. Oh, it's legal. You, yeah. You mean it's, it's okay to do something? Yes. So you could say, um, oh, I'm thinking about riding my motorbike, and you have a license, and somebody could say, t o กฎหมาย Yes. That means it's legal for you to do. Yes. It. So if you wanted to say it's not legal for you to do it, would you say my t o กฎหมาย Yes. Or really. Oh, I like the my t o k got my. That's even more complicated. <laughs> Two my's. My t o k got my. My, which is a different my. Yes. t o k got my. Yes. My t o k got my. Yeah. It's not legal. Yeah, but it's so difficult, you know, yeah. because there's my t o k got my. Mm-hmm. Sounds very similar. When people say your language is easy, they lie. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Hey guys, Megan here from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous TV Pattaya. Today I'm bringing you down here to check out a brand new attraction here in Pattaya. It is the Butterfly Corner. It's a really nice place to bring the family for a day out, especially the kids, because here there are over 5,000 butterflies flying around here in this beautiful garden. So come on, let's check it out. Thailand's government has confirmed the extension of free electricity and water services to poorer families for another year. Yesterday, saw the finance minister announce the 12-month plan that sees those at most risk receiving up to 230 bahts worth of electricity and 100 bahts worth of water every month. Donald Trump may well be visiting Thailand, perhaps as early as next month. It seems that a meeting between him and the Thai prime minister, who's visiting the states on business, resulted in a provisional agreement. With the 35th annual ASEAN summit to be held in Bangkok between October 31st and November the 4th, that would be as popular time as any for him to drop by. If at first you don't succeed, that seems to be the motto of one thief who this week held up a gold shop early morning demanding a million baht. The owner showed him that he'd only got about four and a half thousand. The thief took that but dropped all but 500 as he fled. 
Later in the day, choosing a different shop, he cleared that of 1.8 million bahts worth of the yellow stuff. Chances are, though, that he won't be free for long, as gold shops have CCTV. Storms flooded Patia Thursday afternoon, leaving some areas still deluged after the rain stopped. Police were out in force, replacing traffic lights in some cases where power was out, and some major areas became impassable. Renovations on Beach Road to drainage there saw some areas where the new works are completed draining quickly, while the untouched areas saw damage to the beach and waters remain. The Culture Minister Itapol Kunplom is due to arrive on Phuket on Sunday, attending the opening events for the Phuket Vegetarian Festival. Now, Mr Itapol is a former long-term mayor of Pattaya City and was chosen as the Minister of Thai Culture following July's elections. As mayor in Pattaya, he was committed to local and national cultural events. And on the island of Phuket, organisers promised that the vegetarian festival will be the best, attracting Thais and non-Thais alike. And finally, well, a Russian with a strange name was recovered yesterday after falling through the roof of a local bar's kitchen in Pattaya. Mr Shitov was discovered by medics to be cut and bruised after his fall. No word on what Shitov fell off, but he certainly did promise to pay for the damage done. <laughs> and with the Met Office promising highs of 32 on Phuket, dropping down to 25 storms at any time during the day, Patia with the same rain outlook, but lower temperatures of 30 dropping down to 24. That is the local and national news from Fab FM, keeping you in touch with Thailand and, of course, your city of fun. Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Hello, I'm Andy Barwell at the BBC Sports Centre. The Tottenham Hotspur manager Maurizio Pochettino says the fans have every right to criticise his team. After they were knocked out of the League Cup by third-tier side Colchester United on Tuesday, threw away a 2-0 lead at the Champions League match at Greek side Olympiakos, they go into the weekend's match with Southampton with just eight points from six Premier League matches. The fans always are right to criticise. The, the fans are only the people that you need to accept the criticise and not uh, complain about that. They are always right. To, to express their they feelings and their emotion. We expect to win the last three games and we didn't win. Olympiacos, we were leading the, the game to nil and then draw. We deserve to win again Leicester when you assess the, the game. And of course, Colchester, when you play a, again a League Two team and you don't go through, you cannot be happy. Newly promoted Sheffield United will be hoping to be the first team to take points off the leaders Liverpool this season. Sheffield United boss Chris Wilder called it a dream fixture for him and his club. Playing the European champions at home is, is, uh, is, is always going to be one of those fixtures where when we got back into the Premier League, we'd be looking at. This is a sort of, for me, a reward for the club and, uh, and the supporters in the way that they've followed their team through thick and thin. The challenge for us is obviously to compete on Saturday and the longer term challenge is for this to be a, a regular fixture. And for more football news from the BBC, go to bbc.com slash football. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Things the British Embassy will never tell you. Part one. Renting a bike is the nuts. It just is. And feeling that wind in your face as you fly through the roads on a big bike is even better. The freedom of the road is yours for the taking. And there are plenty of rental companies that won't ask to see a bike license from your home country. Every year, the British consular teams work with hundreds of Brits who have bike accidents here. Some survive, some don't. Not having a license for the bike you rent can and will void all insurance cover, including your medical cover. Nothing worse than having the consular team calling your family and asking them to help you pay the hospital bills. Riding a bike is fun. Plan ahead. Just make sure you have a bike license before renting. This advisory is neither sponsored nor endorsed by the British Embassy. 
no animals were harmed during production. It doesn't contain nuts and is suitable for vegans too. Shall we? Shall uh, we play universally shy? No, <laughs> I don't want it to play. Uh, oh uh, come on, Meg. Like, yeah, come we on. know. Give my ball back. <laughs> Poor little thing. Proper sulking, anyway. Yeah, she is. Yeah. I don't want to play. <laughs> well, don't play then. Give the point to him. <laughs> yeah, just give it, give it to me. Yeah. Um, right, you're in the lead then. So, uh, well, uh, <laughs> there you <laughs> Until about 11.39. <laughs> <laughs> What's your buzzer going to be, Dan? Uh, sausages. Sausages and yeah. your buzzer, Megs? I don't want to play. <laughs> I want to play? Right, okay, come on, let's play. <laughs> Universally Challenge. I can't. Eyes down looking, here's today's clue. Megan, uh. you already know the answer, let's go. <laughs> this is not fair. Stop it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't want to even want to play. What, do you know the answer already? She's buzzed in already. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you haven't even read the clue, she's buzzed in. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay, here's the clue. Right, go on. <laughs> a female Thai asking for a cup of tea from Kim Tiger. What? A female Thai asking for... <laughs> a female Thai asking for a cup of tea from... <laughs> 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 Stop it! <laughs> just, <laughs> just buzz in, Megs, and give us the answer. You know it. Hang on. Oh, dear. Right, today's clue. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> oh, dear. Right, today's clue is a female... Yeah, ask- I think I know it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, I've got so far as a female tired. You know the answer already. Yes. Go on in, buzz in. Go on, go on. <laughs> I, I have no idea. <laughs> go on. I don't know. Okay. Go on. <laughs> I don't want to play. Go on. Chaka <laughs> Khan. <laughs> <laughs> she can't even say it right. It's Chaka Khan, not Chaka Khan. I, I didn't even read the clue out. There you go, Megs. Proper proof that you're a little cheat. Oh, that's I didn't even read a the clue. A female Thai asking for a cup of tea, Chaka. Ah, uh, Chaka. From Kipling's Tiger. Mm. All right, well done. Yeah, very good, Meg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Didn't even read the clue out and she already knew it. Absolutely. What was the rest of the clue? <laughs> a female, female Thai asking for a cup of tea from Kipling's Tiger. Don't get the last part, no, but Lord female Thai asking for a cup of tea, Cha Cha. Yeah. Cha Cha Tiger well done. is Khan. She well done, Meg, yeah. She ain't Khan from uh, oh. Jungle Book. <laughs> well, surprise, surprise, <laughs> it's two holes. She passed in before you even started the clue. I don't want to play. Hang on a minute. I haven't read the clue yet. Oh, are you having fun, guys? Are you uh, having fun? Oh, Meg, you're so lovely. <laughs> Honestly, you are so lovely. Ah. So, what a surprise. It's 2-2. Two, two. Yes, 2 all. What a all surprise. All to play tomorrow. Yep. yep. Yeah, he won't, he won't let her cheat tomorrow because it makes it a bit interesting. Oh, unless he wants you to win for some reason. Hmm. We'll see tomorrow. We will. Oh, Megan, stop it. <laughs> Making me laugh so much. It's so funny. <laughs> Um, universally challenged, surprisingly. Do you know, Megan I actually Montenegro. knew it for a while, but I just didn't dare buzz in. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you knew it since half seven this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, two two. Well done. All to play for tomorrow, and we'll do it at the same time. today and today I'm going to show you around a place called the Sanctuary of Truth 
and it's on Soy 12 off the main road between Pattaya and Naklua. It's called Naklua Road. And the first thing we've got to do is go and buy a ticket from here. Can I have a ticket, please? Uh, the 500 back one. Thank you. Yeah, for one person. Thank you. Thank you. Cap. Oh, look, there we are. The ticket. Where you from? We've got the ticket. I'm from Manchester. Where are you from? I'm from Thailand. Oh, that's very good. Okay. So that's what we've got now. We've got the ticket. I was here about 10 years ago, and I remember going over this bridge here, but it never had all this safety netting on it. No way you can fall off that now, but in the olden days, Whoa, it was too dangerous. I got halfway across them. I did one, panicked. Now, this wooden building here, right, it was initiated by a man, local rich businessman called Mr. Leck. Right? And up there, that's 105 metres high, that. It was built in 1981, and it looks dead old, doesn't it? And you reckon the finishing date is going to be about 2050. Right then, it's time to make our way down to the Sanctuary of Truth. The biggest wooden structure in Thailand. We're just going to go down here. Look at all these steps. Wow, it's like being in a jungle. Waterfalls and everything, look. Wow. Oh yeah, what's going on here then? Hello, how are you? Yeah, fine. Okay, what's that for? Yeah, what? This is only for inside, please. Just safety ah, for you, okay? Yeah, thank okay, you. thank you. Hey, look at that, village people. <laughs> See you later, boys. Bye, thank you. Bye. Look at this, it's like some of our James Bond. That's where the speedboats come in and out. Take you right round for a bit of a tour. Look at all those amazing carvings. Took years and years. All carved by hand. And there's no nails in there or screws or anything. It's all different types of wood joints. And it holds it all together. Yeah, somebody's working here now. Just chipping away. They reckon it's not going to be finished until 2050. Wow. It's slow work, but it's regular work, isn't it? Because they know they've got a job till 2050. <laughs> hey! And the concepts from the uh, Buddhist and the Hindus. And it's all about the afterlife and the cycle of life. And it's all here to teach a story. Look, hello. So what do you cap? All intricate work. <laughs> this was one man's dream. So, Mr. Leck, I salute you. Well done, mate. Ten out of ten. Right, Mr. Hey, trouble, trouble and strife. Hey guys, I'm Megan and you're watching Fabulous TV Patia. Today I am bringing you out here to the Silver Lake Vineyards. It's only about a 30 minutes drive out of Patia and wow, it is such a beautiful place. You can come here, you can walk through the vineyards, you can have a taste of their homemade wine and I guarantee you can get some really, really beautiful pictures. It is very picturesque. So come on, let's check it out. The Silver Lake Vineyard is located around a 20 minute drive from Pattaya City, next to Buddha Mountain, also known as Khao Chi Jan. Upon your arrival, you'll enter through the beautifully designed Italian style building, which leads to an elevated terrace overlooking the vineyard, beautiful gardens and the lake. There's an optional vineyard tour on an electric tram. This way, you can sit back and relax whilst taking in the breathtaking views around the gardens. The Silver Lake Vineyard spread over a total of 600 rai, 
Therefore, it might be a little tiring to walk to all the different viewpoints. The tram will stop at several points throughout your trip, including the windmill and flower gardens, the greenhouses, the movie house and the winery. You'll also have the opportunity to stop by at the grape juice plant to experience the wine making process. The cost for this tour is only 100 baht per person, including a nice cold bottle of homemade grape juice after your journey ends. However, entrance to the vineyard is absolutely free. It is the first and only vineyard in the east of Thailand, established in 2002. A wonderful place to visit for a day out with the family. A perfect place to sit back and relax with a glass of delicious homemade wine whilst taking in the breathtaking views of the Silver Lake Vineyard. Ladies and gents are all welcome to check out the new and improved CK Jenny Salon, a full-service hair and beauty salon located at the Avenue Shopping Mall. Whether it be a massage, a facial, waxing, nails or hair services for both ladies and men, with over 12 years of experience, you can expect the very best from Jenny's team of talented professionals who will pamper your every need. CK Jenny Salon is the one-stop salon for all your beauty needs. They're now located on the ground floor of the Avenue Shopping Mall on Pattaya 2nd Road. 